Today, I want to introduce a new software, TextGen for SC. If you are familiar with TextGen, you will know this is a software to generate woven fabric composites, and it is a widely used open source code to generate woven fabric composites. First, go to CDM Hub and from the resources tools, and we can uh, search for the homogenization, then TextGen for SC launch tool. This new software will integrate TextGen and Stiff.com. By taking the advantage of model generation by TextGen and constitutive modeling by Stiff.com, TextGen for SC provides a faster and easy way to perform homogenization analysis for woven fabric composites. Next, I will use this software to get the infective properties of a simple 2D plan woven composites. And then uh, we we can click this woven, and let's keep these parameters as default values. Click next. You can clicking this. Uh, you can click these yarns to arrange them. Uh, to arrange them, and just click OK. Now the model is generating. After the model is generated, you can edit the properties of material of matrix and yarns. If you want to edit materials, just go to the model and assign matrix properties. Here we assume the matrix is isotropic material. You can edit the Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, and coefficients of thermal expansion. Let's keep the default values. And if you want to edit the properties of Young's, the first thing you need to do is to select the, the Young's. You want to change the select the Young's. You want to change the, the the properties. Then the color will be changed, and there is an arrow, uh, there. Then go to the model, assign Young's properties. You can see uh, there are a lot of parameters. You can assign the Young's modulus in x, y, z direction, as well as the shear modulus and Poisson's ratio. And also you can assign the uh, coefficient of thermal expansion, this alpha, in x, y, z direction. When the model is ready, you can, uh, you can, you need to export the Abax file. Go to the file, export Abax file. Choose the second option. Here, you can change the mesh of this uh, is unit cell or stru uh, mechanics or uh, or the structure genome. In order to reduce the calculation time, I use some coarse mesh. And please note, this output yarns must be selected, and this is not the default uh, value, so you need to pay a special attention. Then click OK. Save this file. Then you can go to the texture output to see the time for saving this file. And then we can generate the SC file. Here we, in this tutorial, we just uh, perform the elastic homogenization analysis. And you can also perform the thermal elastic uh, homogenization analysis if you want. And we also use the solid model in this exa example. You can also use the plate or shear model to get ABD matrix. Now click finish. And then you are ready to use the SIFTCOM to run the homogenization analysis. Simply click this button. And the result will show after the, fini after the calculation is finished. And also, as you already generated the .sc file, if you want to do the dehomogenization analysis, you can copy this file 
and using GMesh SwiftCom GUI to perform the dehomogenization analysis.